The Furnace Accelerator is a really unique program. It's one of the few in the world where we actually put intellectual property up on a website for the community to come look at and select. Uh, if they select a certain technology that they think is really exciting and has great potential, they put a business model around that technology and then they compete for the opportunity to be a part of the Furnace Accelerator and to win $25,000 in startup cash and uh, an exclusive license to the technology. It's important because there are some amazing, life-saving technologies that have been developed by researchers here at ASU and, and other labs around the state that they just need a team behind them to take them to market. The researchers are doing an amazing job doing what they do best, which is research. And so what we try to do is find great business people, great teams to wrap around those technologies and help them get out into the marketplace. Uh, we've created 14 companies and had 12 licenses issued. Those companies have gone on to raise more than a million dollars in additional funding and they're still very early stage. So we expect uh, even that number to go, go higher and higher. So my organization here at ASU is the Image Processing Applications Laboratory. Uh, and as the name suggests, we uh, use image processing to do a, a lot of uh, different interesting things. Most recently though, we've developed a technology for simulating how medical devices are deployed into the human body. Uh, so we focused on endovascular devices uh, in the recent past and uh, what we can now do is take a patient specific case, uh, look at a number of different devices that may be used to treat that case and then figure out which one's going to work best. We were able to achieve a product that actually simulates these medical device deployments with a, a whole new level of accuracy and that's what makes it so much more useful in the clinic. The benefits of uh, the technology we've created uh, are that first and foremost people can be treated more successfully. So when a physician has to decide which device to use in treating a patient, the tools that we've created can now help him or her make that decision with greater certainty. So we're enabling procedures that are more effective, uh, that are safer, uh, and that also decrease the cost of healthcare because repeat interventions are not required as frequently. We do research on the chemistry of intercellular communication. That is, how the different cells in our body communicate with each other for a multicellular life, for human life. And these, these commu intercellular communications have to do with most of our behaviors and the diseases that we get that are related to these various behaviors. And so what we're trying to understand is the relationship between these interactions and these hormones and neurotransmitters and how they're different when there's a disease than when you have healthy life. And to do this, the primary thing we do is design novel molecules that will have novel biological activities. And then from this we can learn more than we can just learn by using just the hormones and neurotransmitters themselves because we can start modulating these activities and from that learn how biology really works as you change the chemistry. We like to think it's important because nearly all the things we are working on are related to some of the most important degenerative diseases. 